Hello, Mark. Do you have any thoughts on doing thick bar training, such as using an axle bar or thick bar attachment? Fat grips, iron bull grip force, etc. for things such as chin-ups, deadlifts, and rows. There seem to be a lot of strength coaches that promote this. But I wanted to hear your thoughts. Well, I think it's important to get your deadlift real strong. So if you artificially limit your ability to deadlift heavy weights because you have turned your grip into the limiting factor, then you have decided to deadlift light weights. Now, they may feel hard because you can't hold it onto the bar, but the minute you put that same weight back on a 28 and a half millimeter bar and you can hold on to it, it doesn't feel hard and you can go on up. Now, let's, let's keep in mind this, this central truth. If your deadlift goes from 315 to 585, what has happened to your grip? It got stronger, right? This is this is interesting to me that people don't. <laughs> Why does everything have to be so fucking complicated? You know, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. If uh, if you are, you'll have to agree that a man that can hold on to a barbell loaded to five eighty five through the full range of motion of a deadlift has got a stronger grip than a man who can hold on to a barbell at 315, right? Everything gets stronger as the deadlift goes up, including your grip. And when you do a bunch of specialized grip work, like with fat bars and this sort of thing, uh, yeah, you're going to work the piss out of your grip, but your grip's going to get worked anyway with the heavier weight on the deadlift. That plus the fact that if you fatigue your grip by doing a whole bunch of special grip stuff, like the geniuses at Iron Mind sell, you know, these little squeezy things and everything, get your hands tired. Uh, that takes a while to recover from. I don't think it's been sufficiently appreciated that, that something that fatigues your grip can limit your ability to deadlift for, uh, you know, several days uh, afterward. I remember uh, one time I went to a meet a long time ago, and I, for some weird reason I got the, the ingenious notion that I was going to do a bunch of curls on Tuesday before the meet on Saturday. <laughs> right? And I did a whole bunch of curls and shit for the meet on Saturday. And guess what happened on my second attempt deadlift? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Couldn't pull it. Couldn't pull it. And at least I was smart enough to understand what I had actually done to myself. Because that's, you, you, your grip takes a while to recover from. And if you do a whole bunch of grip stuff, it's going to interfere with your heavy deadlifts. So just keep that in mind. 